Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Um, I was looking through the videos and uh, noticed on Facebook or on the YouTube that one of them had gotten deleted, and it was the one on um, using the eraser. Okay. When you come in here and you want to use the eraser, you know you come in and you start doing your little eraser jobby here. Come in and you do this. Well, you think you you know got it pretty much figured out. And I warn you, sometimes it does this, and sometimes it takes a long time for it to respond to you. You'll get the not responding, and that little wheel will turn. Don't worry, it'll come back to life. So you come in here and you do your little thing. Well, you would hope that that would all you know disappear. Well, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. This is the key right here, the keep close pass. And there's another little thing that you can check too that will save you a ton of time. Let me wait for it to respond again. Um, let me show you. Let's get on this. Let me put this back in here. So, let's bring this back up. Let's unclick keep close pass. Okay, and let's see if we can get it to do this. Let's just erase this outline once. Because I'm all about short, fast, and easy. Because making files takes forever. Oops. Wait for it to respond. As you can see, I would have to fix that right there. Okay. Because I didn't keep close paths. If I just erase the outline, um, and normally I use a really small eraser, um, this only goes down to one, uh, 0.10. I actually come in here and change it to 0 0.005, and that gives me a pinpoint eraser. But anyways, um, when you come in here and you choose to um, Unclick the keep close paths. You can just come in here and erase the outline, just the outer edge, and do it very carefully so you don't tick any of the lines of the other piece. Because if you do, that will also remove that line um, and break it up, and it won't keep the color if you're big on keeping colors in your file. Okay? Um, just Take this line out and watch. Make sure you're real careful. Take that line out and then the entire rest of the color will disappear. And we'll come over here. Come on. Okay, there. That's lots better. I didn't tick any of the other lines. To the show outlines only and there are no outlines, meaning there's no hidden part of it. So it's not going to cut anything else, okay? Come up to the preview, and you have a solid line, all right? So that's going to save you a lot of time and also possible errors because we know when we're in here and we're doing the erase, sometimes you do tick that line accidentally, all right? And let's see. Let me just go over there and tap it because sometimes you can fix it, and I'll show you how when it starts to participate. Okay. Sometimes you can fix it by highlighting it all and coming up to path, close path. Nope, see, sometimes it does the wonky stuff, but a lot of times when you do the close path, it will work. So let's click this. Bring it back down, erase all of the weirdness. And it should still be okay. Come on. There. So that's how you fix it, all right? Um, I hope this helps you guys. Um, I started out not liking the eraser tool because it would never do what I wanted it to. Now I absolutely love it. All right, guys, if you have any questions, give us a holler over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks.